We believe that children should have the fundamental right to see their limitless potential. And our vision statement has added that word limitless because we want everyone to know how important it is for a child to actually know their potential. Because there's actually a significant difference between just recognizing it to knowing it. Recognizing means that you have the idea of maybe the dream or goal for yourself, but you're not quite sure how to get there. Knowing your limitless potential means that not only do you see yourself represented in that space, but you have the foundations and steps in place to reach those goals and you know how to navigate the resources to get there. Reading is intimately involved in knowing your limitless potential. In fact, it's so foundational that many of us here today might actually take it for granted, right? We use reading all the time in every way and every part of our day and it's played a significant role in getting us to where we are in this moment in our journey and where we want to go. Reading is a big deal and we start that process well before we enter the school doors for kindergarten. Um, and in fact, if you ask a kindergarten parent about their child's school experience, within moments, what's gonna come up is friends and reading because those are actually tied together. Reading affects not only academic progress, it affect, affects social, emotional progress as well. When a child starts to feel that reading is difficult or hard, they might start to opt out of activities because they feel like they can't do it. This can actualize also emotionally when children begin comparing themselves to their peers, noticing that their friend can read, but they can't. And they'll start to say those things. That can continue further with tears when the book comes out, stomach aches when you start talking about it, and eventually wanting to avoid school. The picture that I'm painting is hard to imagine, right? It's difficult, it's uncomfortable, and it's upsetting, but it's the reality for many children that find reading to be difficult. But we can paint a different picture by introducing the power of play. Play can help level the playing field for children by decreasing the fear towards reading. Let's reimagine that child that I was explaining earlier that finds reading to be scary and overwhelming and picture them instead sitting next to their parent at the table or laying on the carpet floor, rolling a dice, moving a pawn along a game board, shouting out words aloud, reading them together, and eventually winning a game. A much different experience. That's what play can do. Cultivating Literacy believes in that power of play and has implemented it throughout our program so that children feel a sense of joy when they read. Instead of that scary, overwhelming feeling, play decreases it through active and engaging learning. And while the child's playing, they're also cultivating a relationship with the person that they're playing with, which is oftentimes a parent, a sibling, a loved one, a friend. This year, we've had the incredible opportunity to partner with some amazing partners, like the American Heart Association that's gifted $25,000 over the past year. <laughs> They're here tonight um, to support families in San Jose. In fact, the families that you see represented through Christina's story here today um, are incredible partners at Franklin McKinley School District, Christina and Joy. As Christina shared earlier, Franklin McKinley serves right at 6,000 students. Um, with about 50% speaking English as a second language. So you can imagine the importance of language in engaging our families. Um, language is powerful. It's how we connect with our loved ones. It's how we navigate complex systems and learn how to access the resources that are available to us. When a parent enters a cultivating literacy workshop, they're uh, greeted by a bilingual reading coach who can immediately begin cultivating spaces of belonging and partnership. As families sit down for a workshop, smiles begin to ensue when games are passed out and learning materials. You quickly see children smiling with their parent as they're learning letter sounds together, using puppets to create new words. And you might even witness a proud moment when a child is helping their parent pronounce a new sound together. In this scenario, who's learning? It's both the parent and the child. 
cultivating practices of co-learning and resilience together. This year with Franklin McKinley School District, we're serving 110 families through our individualized literacy plan program. And like Christina shared, we're offering many workshops throughout the district that are open to families throughout um, to come and engage and play to cultivate a love for reading. However, we need your support to continue growing this program. This program actually grew out of our flagship program, which when it was little was serving 40 families a year to 60 and now 110. So we've been rapidly growing. Um, so we're very excited about that growth. And along with that, our goal for next year is actually to serve 300 families with our individualized literacy program. <laughs> So what that means is 300 children get this customized experience where a cultivating literacy teacher comes on site, performs assessments, um, uses that data to create a customized reading plan and kit full of games and activities to help them meet those reading goals. Along with that, families get a coach who supports them throughout their reading journey. Um, earlier I was talking about the joy that happens in a workshop. Well, it doesn't just end there. For up to nine weeks after that workshop, families continue to connect with the reading coach who supports them as they implement the program. And we get to hear how children's mindsets shift from avoiding reading to actually asking their, uh, their parent to play their reading game with them every night. So gifting that to 300 children helps cultivate a love for reading, but also confidence within the parent and the family unit itself. We ask you to come alongside us and join us in supporting these many families next year in San Jose and this year. So whether you're supporting us with our families now, eventual 300 families in the future, and our greatest goal of reaching Santa Clara County and California more broadly, we ask that you help us cultivate a love for reading within students so that they can see that their potential is truly limitless. Thank you all for coming tonight.